Noodles may be the single most delicious thing, and they're also almost universal, from Roman cacio e pepe to Korean knife noodles. I can only think of one noodle dish that I've ever had that I didn't like, and these, these may be the best ones. Today I'm making seared noodles. It's an amazing technique. I'll make an aromatic chili and ginger oil and quickly sear hand-pulled noodles with that oil. I put 430 grams of all-purpose flour into a bowl with two grams of salt. Now I'm using AP flour and it will work, but you could also use a high protein flour like this bread flour if you'd prefer. It will make the dough less prone to tearing. I'm slowly adding 200 milliliters of water to the bowl while I mix with my hand. This tool would definitely make this a lot easier, but personally, I like to get my hands into a dough whenever I don't have to do that much kneading. But if you've got one of these, feel free to use it. This dough will eventually all come together. Resist the urge to add more water. Now just cover it up with plastic or a plate and let it rest for at least 20 minutes. This dish is gonna have a lot of components. One of the best things that you can do when you have a dish that has so many things in it is to make a spice mixture that you incorporate into different parts of the dish. So we're gonna make that first. What I'm gonna do is fennel seed, cumin, and star anise. I measured 15 grams of cumin, 15 grams of fennel, and five grams of star anise, and then this, it's gonna get ground. Mortar and pestle, spice grinder, Vitamix. All of these have advantages and disadvantages and they all will work. But when I'm trying to make a fine powder spice mix, I will always choose the Vitamix. Now these noodles have two sauces, a soy-based sweet and sour sauce and a Sichuan style chili oil. It's what makes them special. First, I'll make the sweet and sour noodle sauce. We're gonna use low sodium soy. I always use low sodium soy sauce because it allows you to add more of that delicious soy flavor before it comes over seasoned. I'm also gonna use sesame oil. And also I'm gonna be using Kikap Manas, AKA sweet soy sauce, which is an Indonesian product that I cannot recommend enough. It's sweet and savory and delicious. I'll also be using this Chinese black vinegar. This will add some nice acidity to the dish. This is actually not my first choice, but my now local grocer doesn't stock my go-to black vinegar. I'm gonna put a link below for the good stuff. Let's mix this up. I'm adding 100 grams of soy sauce, 40 grams of sweet soy sauce, 40 grams of black vinegar, one gram of sesame oil, and also eight grams of our spice mixture. Whisk it up, it's done for now. Now comes what is undoubtedly my favorite part of this process, which is the chili oil. So we have a mixture of two different types of chilies here. We've got a Korean red chili, and this is a Thai bird, both dried. And what we're gonna do is just lay these out and toast them in our 350 degree oven. So these are just aromatic, really, Really nice, they smell really good. Now that these are toasted, all that we have to do is take the seeds out. Gloves, highly recommended. I like to use scissors to cut the top off and then just squeeze those seeds right out. If you do leave the seeds in, this is gonna melt your face. I know for some of you that's exciting, so leave the seeds in. Very, very spicy. You're gonna use a spice grinder to grind these into a really fine powder. I choose Vitamix. Be careful, don't put your nose over this. Now put them into a pan with a nice big handful of the spice mix. I'm gonna just cover that up with grapeseed oil. It's about a half cup. And you're gonna turn this all the way up and bring it to a simmer. The heat needs to get turned off as soon as you see that movement or the mixture will burn. And we're gonna let this steep for about 20 minutes. This smells amazing. I recommend straining this so it doesn't burn a hole into the fabric of reality, but you don't technically have to. Nice. Oh, yes. Let's talk about meat. 
I wanted to try something I've never done before or even heard of actually. So I slowly simmered a slab of brisket and oil with the spice mixture and dried Thai chilies. I really don't want to call this confit, but I think I have to. Although the main difference is that I went for some browning in the fat as well. It did infuse less of the chili than it would have if I had cooked it in water or stock, but it did end up with this incredible, almost crunchy toasted spice exterior. It was very good. We're gonna season this with our spice mixture and our salt. One of the important things is to season it into the pan you're gonna cook it in so that excess salt and spice stays in the pan. I'm adding a few dried chilies and covering it halfway with neutral oil. Okay, now I'm bringing it to a simmer on the stove, throwing a lid on it, and putting it into a 350 degree oven. This is gonna take about two hours. I was looking for it to get dark brown and to be fork tender. Now that it's done, I'm gonna set it to drain on this seasoning tray. Time to prep our veg, and then we're ready to go. I'm using shishitos, so I just gently pulled the stems off. I'm trying to not tear into the actual pepper because I'm gonna boil this with the noodles, and I don't want the hot water rushing inside of the pepper. I'm slicing some scallions. I've decided to go thin because the shishitos are gonna give more than enough texture. Also, Thai basil. It is my favorite basil with a light anise undertone. I just cut the leaves into wide ribbons. And I'm also mincing this ginger for the sear. It's a great moment to cut up your meat. So good. Let's stretch some noodles. So the first thing that we wanna do is develop a little bit more structure in this dough. So we're just gonna knead this a little bit. So now that we've given some initial structure to this, we're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes and rest, do the final shaping, and then we'll cut it. Once you stretch these, you're gonna to wanna to cook them right away. So I'm gonna put some water on in the back. Cut the dough into about quarter inch slabs. I'm about to pull these, but honestly, I don't have the mastery to do this all the way by hand. I have found if I start the process with a rolling pin, it's a lot more approachable. I like to get them as thin as I can with the rolling pin, and then holding them gently, I'll pull apart as I slap the dough up and down. This is gonna help keep it from tearing apart. But I definitely did tear a few of these. Then just rip them right down the middle. Look, hand pulled noodles. Now that we've got a nice pile of noodles, I'm gonna take these over, I'm gonna cook them for about two minutes. This really should go right into the boiling water, although I suspect you could flour them and freeze them. I'm putting the shishitos in at the same time. Okay, they've been cooking for about two minutes. Now I'm gonna scoop them out and put them into a bowl. Add the ginger to a cold pan along with the chili oil. Cook this on high heat until the oil is very hot. While we get our oil nice and hot, we're gonna finish dressing our noodles. So into this, we're gonna put our basil. our scallions, our meat, and our noodle sauce. I really like to mix this up with my hand. Okay, it's ready to go. We're just looking to toast this ginger. We want it to get a very light golden color. We're gonna just look for the bubbles to start to disappear. Starting to get really aromatic and you can see that there's less bubbles. As Soon as it looks like that, just want all at once 
to pour it right in there. I'm excited to dive into these. Mm. Those are so tasty. Mm. Now, I know that chili oil might scare some of you guys, but it's really very well balanced in the end. It's definitely got some heat, but it's not too spicy by any means. It's sweet and sour and hot. Great textures. Oh, so good. That was really a lot of fun for me. I hope you enjoyed. You should consider giving it a shot. That technique is really cool and it's very versatile. You could do that with basically any type of noodle. I mean, try it with a pack of ramen. I bet it will work and I bet it'll be delicious. But anyway, that's all for me. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.